Hello fellow science enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's classic movie I will be reviewing Roberto Rossellini's Fear, starring Ingrid Bergman. Fear begins with Irene Wagner played by Ingrid Bergman. She has just returned home from a date with a man named Eric and Irene has been seeing Eric while her husband is home. She had actually been seeing Eric when her husband, I believe was put in jail, her husband Albert, who was a scientist, and I guess he was sent to prison during the war, but now he's back and she really hasn't stopped seeing Eric. And she gets home from seeing her lover and there is a woman named Joanna Schultz waiting outside she's like you've been seeing Eric you've been seeing him I want money so nobody so I don't tell anybody what's been going on well you know and this freaks Irene out and even though she does love Albert and you know, but she still kind of has feelings for Eric. And during the whole time that Albert was away, Irene had been running their pharmaceutical company where Albert was a scientist there. And she had managed without him for so long. And I guess she's still trying to like really piece her life back together with Albert since he's come home. The next day, Joanna begins to come around. She's like, where's my money? I want my money. And Irene is trying not to tell Albert about all this stuff or go to the police. So Joanna gives her the money and I think plus a little bit extra. Things go on for a little while, but then Joanna starts like harassing Irene at work and things just kind of spiral out of control. It's like blackmail and that, you know, all this stuff is, is blackmail that Joanna is doing and Irene's trying to like get out. There's all this tension there with that character. And then Irene just finally has enough and she starts kind of like looking into Joanna. She tells Eric, she's like, yo, what are you doing? Like, what's going on with this woman? Why is she after you? Like, can you tell me anything about her so that I can stop this? And he's kind of like, mm, you know, like he just doesn't really care. You can tell when she goes to see him that he's just like, mm, whatever, you know, figure it out on yourself. I really, I don't care about this. And the person who is actually running the show is not Joanna. It's someone that I am not even going to say because the twist is so good. The two women meet up and Joanna reveals who the real blackmailer is and um, you're just like, whoa, this is so cool. It was such a great twist. It was like almost like the perfect Hitchcock kind of twist and Rosalini actually took a lot of his directing style and the story took a lot from Hitchcock's movies. And so the story wasn't too bad. I thought it dragged on a little bit. I'm not really a fan of blackmailing stories. I just don't like how they end up. I don't like the way they play out. I'm just not a fan of that type of story. But, you know, of course, Ingrid Bergman, no story, no movie ever suffers from her being in it. And that really helped me out because I would not have been paying attention to this at all. And if there hadn't been subtitles, I would not be paying attention to this. This movie was uh, dubbed in Italian, which actually, for me, was a big detriment to like fully enjoying this movie because I love hearing Ingrid Bergman talk and I wasn't crazy about the Italian dubs over everything and to me it just kind of took away from the movie because I just as I said I love hearing Ingrid Bergman talk and I think it would have been a little bit more interesting you know if they had been speaking English. Rosalini's direction as always is brilliant and Ingrid Bergman just fantastic she it was so good with whatever she was given and i really do like her in these kind of very suspenseful stories because her some of my favorite movies from her are the ones that she made for alfred hitchcock where she had to be in a state of tension and suspense at all times and that's exactly what she was as irene fear was a good movie if you are a fan of ingrid bergman or roberto rosalini or you like the suspense genre definitely definitely check fear out it was a good movie um as i said the only thing that i wasn't too crazy about was the black mailing and the fact that it was dubbed over in Italian. If you liked my review of Fear in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have seen this, if you're a fan of Ingrid Bergman or Roberto Rossellini, let's discuss them in this movie or any of their other films. 
does matter leave them down below and if you have any movie suggestions of what i should watch they can be classic movies they can be whatever movies you want also leave those in the comments below and if i choose your movie i will give you a shout out whenever i review it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future classic movie thursdays and other movie reviews because that is what i like to do here and as always keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous